Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on designing a galvanic cell from a single displacement redox reaction. This is how to make a battery. Um, this is a simplified way of making a battery, but all your batteries, everything in your flashlight works like this. You're going to have some kind of a, um, a core, and uh, in this case you've got some metals, you've got some uh, manganese and some palladium, and then you're going to have some kind of a um, something that has ions in it that can move, whether it's in some kind of a goo or some kind of a solution. Uh, old timey batteries used to have uh, battery acid and you poured acid in it. Uh, so you have to have some kind of solution so that so the ions can transfer. But really what you have is you've got a redox reaction. Remember a redox reaction is throwing an electron. Something is giving an away electron and uh, becoming more positive, that's called oxidation. Something is gaining an electron, becoming more negative, and that's called reduction. So we need to know what is losing electrons and what is gaining electrons. So star up here, anything that is in its pure state, its elemental form, something you'd find on the periodic table, has an oxidation number of zero. So palladium metal here is zero, manganese metal is zero. Anything that is in a, um, a compound often will have charges involved. These, these, this is a non-metal metal, non-metal metal, so these are ionic compounds. Your chlorine is in group seven, so this is two negative ones. So this has to balance with two negative ones, so this is gonna be a positive two. Same thing here, this is two negative ones, so this has to balance with two negative ones this is positive two. So what you're gonna see is you have manganese, and that manganese is a metal, so we're gonna call it solid, and it is going to go to manganese ion, cation, to with two plus, because we have it as two plus, and then you're gonna to have to balance that with the two electrons that it lost. It used to have those electrons, and now these electrons are being moved somewhere else. So this is one side of a balanced reaction, or one side of an oxidation-reduction reaction. And what's happening? This charge is going from 0 to 2, so it's going up, and going up is oxidized. So this is oxidation half reaction. Okay. So what's happening on the other side? You've got, um, sorry, not PB, PD. It's palladium, and it's already a cation, and it's aqueous. It's in solution already, and it is uh, gaining the two electrons that were produced up here. It's gaining them, taking them in. It's no longer an ion, and it is turning in to palladium metal. Okay, and this is going from 2 plus down to 0, and so it's reduced in charge so this is reduction, okay? So, basic overview. You've got a metal. It's um, neutral, and it's going to, for, for some reason of these guys, dump some of its uh, metal into ions, all right? They're gonna become positive. So as it becomes positive, you're gonna end up making some electrons. These electrons are forced to go up through a wire, that you can record, and then it is going, the electrons are gonna come into this metal. The electrons are then going to dump into the solution that in this case has the palladium in it, and the electrons are gonna join with the palladium and turn it into palladium metal. So this stuff that's floating around inside the palladium ions are going to stick to the, to the rod of palladium and make it bigger. This is going to be eaten away. Eventually, this will have holes in it, okay? Because this metal is going away and deteriorating into the ions that are being dumped into the fluid. And this, the, the ions that are in the fluid, are going to be joined to the rod. So this rod is going to be gaining weight. This rod is going to be losing weight. Eventually, you're going to have to, to change this out because the battery will go dead when there's no more metal to dump into the liquid. You have to have some means to keep the charge regulated so that you have a circuit. So there needs to be some, some way to connect that. 
Um, in my lab, I do things in a ghetto kind of way, a uh, very, very cheap way. I simply take a piece of paper towel, uh, wet it in some kind of like here that they're just using some chlorine, something that's in both sides. So I would just put this in some salt water and then just lay it over the edge and the charge can be regulated and you'll get a circuit in a battery. Okay, so we've got our oxidation reduction step. Now we need to look at what's happening here. Uh, this is the, the oxidation occurs at the anode, okay? And the anode, this is the anode, so the anode is the rod where oxidation is recurring, okay? The cathode, both of these are called electrodes, but specifically the negative, um, the negative electrode is the, is the anode and the positive electrode is the cathode. And so at the anode, oxidation occurs and at the cathode, reduction occurs, All right? So that means what's being oxidized? Mang manganese is being oxidized. That means the manganese is here. So the metal is manganese and the juice is manganese ion, okay? Because it's being dumped into it. What's happening here? This metal is the one that's being reduced. Well, the reduced step is the palladium. So this is palladium metal. And the juice has palladium ions in it. Okay. And I think that's everything that you need. So we're going to, to look at this. You're gonna say, what's happening? The first question is write a balanced equation equation for the half reactions that happen at the cathode. Okay. Well, the cathode is reduction. Okay. That means this has to be P2 or P2 plus aqueous plus two electrons yields PD solid. So that's what's happening at the at the anode, or I'm sorry, at the cathode on this side. Okay, what's happening at the anode, right? Well, what's happening at the anode is the other one, it's the oxidation step. So it's Mn solid going to Mn2 plus, which is aqueous, plus two electrons, okay? Of what substance is S1 made, or E1, well, E1 is the metal that's being oxidized. Well, the metal that's being oxidized is magnesium. Of what substance is E2 made? Well, it's the metal that's being reduced, okay, that it's getting stuff stuck to it, and that's the palladium. What's the chemical species in S1? Well, it's the juice made from this metal that's dropping into the solution, so it's the manganese 2 plus. Um, and then what's the last one? This is going to be the, the other one. This is going to be the PD2+. I hope that helps.